Well, for, for the first time I'm giving a talk in circumstances where it looks highly probable that I might be right, given the current situation between America and Iran. Let me just say for the record that if it's true that this guy, Soliman, killed a million people, have a court case. Get the SAS or the American SEALs to extradite him, put him in an international court and try him and then give him the death penalty. Do not do an extrajudicial killing, it's not a good idea. Makes the Middle East into the Wild West, which is not what we want. The future is in justice, international justice, lawfulness rather than lawfulness. All right, the five proofs. So, well, let me give you the dates. The, the new dates are that today, <laughs> Tebeth 6 is the second fire sign, in, and we think it would be in Manhattan, obviously, rather than the UK, because they're the ones who are in the, the firing line now from Iran. So that will produce a, a, a mushroom cloud above the Hudson, we think around the George Washington Bridge, is from High Point, New Jersey, the nearest sea to High Point, New Jersey, which is garden land, it's a garden state, Carmel in 1 Kings 18 terminology, Carmel meaning garden land, and that's Tebeth 6, and then the UK fire sign is Tebeth 10, which is producing a mushroom cloud above the Thames around Dartford. These mushroom clouds, we don't know whether they're large explosive or very small nuclear, we don't know. But the, the one in America, the, the Tebe 6 one, starts World War Three. World War Three begins on Tebe 6 and it becomes nuclear on Tebe 24, which is the Great Tribulation. And we bow out on Tebe 25, deciding we don't want to be part of a nuclear war, very wisely, because nobody wins a war like that. And that no one should take part in such an endeavour. There's no future. It's all dumb bombs, suicide bombs, in fact. All right, so the first proof we had was at the, the midpoint, noon. Elijah mocked at noon, the midpoint of my dealings with the Watchtower. My first letter, 1992, LL11, hand delivered. I mocked them in a letter on 2006 CR1. That was 4,910 BLC days apart. You count another 4,910 BLC days, you end up 2019, Chislev 21. That was the last day when we didn't have a correct fire sign prediction. On Chislev 22, we got the correct prediction extensions to Tebeth 11, and we got the correct second fire sign prediction, thought to be the third fire sign at the time, for Tebeth 6. We didn't get the correct third fire sign prediction for Tebeth 10 until Tebeth 4, which was a couple of days ago. Then the, the next proof we had was go back seven times. We were appointed over two NCs. Go up to the top of Carmel, says the scripture in 1 Kings 18, verse 83. Elijah went to the top, verse 43. He went to the top of Carmel. I think it's actually before then, verse 42 or 1 or something. And that's us being appointed over the two NCs, installed in fact, on 2012, Chisler 21. You go back seven times, that's 2019, Chisler 21. And then the next day is the Super Pentecost. So the Super Pentecost of 1 Kings 18 is the day when we're released from the contest by getting uh, the correct prediction extension and one of the correct fire signs. Pretty much getting the deal, not not the whole of it, but nearly all of it. And then the next proof was Alan's becoming the fourth apostle on 2015, Chisholm 21, when we appointed him. And then four times after that, for a day, the day, the month, the year, and the hour of Revelation 9, 13 to 15, that takes you to, again, 2019, Chisholm 21. And the four apostles are bound over, or angels, are bound over the Euphrates, not able to um, baptise anybody due to my inability to get a fire sign right. And we were re they were released when I got the correct prediction extensions. So what we're saying is that the prediction extension to Tebeth 11 must be correct. In other words, both fire signs must occur before Tebeth 11. So the second fire sign is Tebeth 6, which is January 6, 7, which is Monday, Tuesday. January the 6th, January the 7th for the fire sign in the US. And the third fire sign in the UK is Tebeth 10, which is January 10, 11, which is the Sabbath, which is Friday, Saturday. Okay, so Alan was made into an apostle four times before, on, on 2015, Chisholm 21, four times before 2019, Chisholm 21. And those are the day, the month, the hour, and the year, because that's four times between the two. And that's the period when the four apostles, we've only got four in this church, 
were bound over the Euphrates, unable to baptise anybody due to my inability to get a far sign correct. Although, to be fair, it's impossible to get a far sign correct until the far sign actually occurs. So I was never, I mean, I could have got it, no, that's not true. I could have got it correct four years ago, but nobody would have seen us as being unbound because basically the far sign wasn't going to occur until now. So that's that. All right. Then the fourth proof is the 70 weeks of Daniel 9, which run from um, when Jesus went forth to restore the Odyssea on 2018 L10, all the way to the last week, the 70th week, which is the week of his fifth marriage feast, the completed third Holy Spirit marriage feast, which week is 2019 to 20, when they unite the, the Holy of Holies, which is Jesus, the, the Holy of the Holy Spirit, becomes king because his marriage is his coronation and the coronation of his queen to the end of the feast on Chisholm 26 and that's when you imprint a seal on the vision and prophet it's interesting it doesn't say imprint the seal a seal I mean during that week I got on Chisholm 22 I got the correct prediction extensions I got the correct second fire sign date I did not get the correct third fire sign date during that week but nonetheless the prediction extensions cover the correct third fire sign date because they go all the way out to Tebeth 11 and the correct third fire sign date is Tebeth 10. So the, the, the prediction extensions would cover all the Sabbaths of various types which is when these bombs must occur or Pentecost or actually both up to and including Tebeth 11 which is the fourth marriage Pentecost in 2019. So that's that one. Then we had the sentence count incorrect of the, the first horseman of the apocalypse it, the, the sentence count of, of verse 2 of Revelation 6 is indeed seven times. But you get uh, one of the four living creatures saying, come and see. And in fact, one of the four living creatures has a voice of thunder, or in a voice of thunder, or with a voice of thunder, like a voice of thunder. So that counts as one of the four is four times. And he says, come and see, like a voice of thunder. And it's two times plus one, which is three, which is four threes, which is twelve. You add that to the 7, you get 19. That's the length of the ride, which starts when the horse becomes white at the Pentecost, which is the, the super Pentecost of the contest, which is also when Laodicea falls, because the concubine of, of Judges 19 falls with her hands upon the thresh hold, and you hold threshed wheat sealed, wheat sealed Christians, and Pentecost is the first ripe fruits or sealed Christians rather than first fruits, which would be sanctified Christians, a festival. So 2722, the horse became white. 19 after that days takes you to Tebeth 11, which is the fourth marriage Pentecost. And it's when the hearts are turned around. Tebeth 11 is also the Ketib count of the prayer of Elijah in 1 Kings 18, 36 and 37. Adding the two up, you get to Tebeth 11, starting from Chislev 2 which is when the Third Holy Spirit was appointed to run 2NC Zoa. Incidentally, they were installed to run 2NC Zoa, pursuant to that appointment, on 2019 uh, Tebeth 21, but they can't do it because I don't baptise them, because John refused Jesus and I do it here as well. So they get delayed in their installation till 2019 Shabbat 21, actually. So they don't take over the church until then, the 2NC part of the church. So my ride is finished, the hearts are turned round on Tebeth 11 because the third fire sign occurs on Tebeth 10. So this game is over by Tebeth 10, the, the game I've been playing for 13 and a half years, a bit more, since when I started predicting or attempting to predict the second and third fire sign. So that's, that's it. Thank you very much.